What's good, y'all? It's the Big Burr, and welcome back to another Polytopia replay breakdown. In this one, we have a really fun one for you. We have a Samanti versus Samanti battle. Let's find out who the better bug is. So let's hop right into the game. Spawning in the south corner, we have Jack. He's a Burtopian. That means he's a member of my Discord server, and he's playing as the Mustard Samanti today. And then spawning over here in the east corner, we have War Slice. He's a pretty good Polytopia player. Bertopian member of the server and we're in the game right now so I'm, I'm gonna have to give you an L but you my guy all right so as we can see war slice already has his shaman ahead on the map here and he's kind of spreading out meanwhile we have Jack he's already getting a nice boost with the shaman from this big boy village he has now unbeknownst to war slice his his shaman is pretty close to Jack here so that that could be dangerous as he slides onto that ruin and look at these boosted warriors all already outside of the borders of war slice and he already has three villages nice spawn there meanwhile look at this huge gap low village density on this side of the map he's kind of cut off by his opponent right here so but he does have the veteran swordsman going for him he has a shaman in an offensive position and uh what did he get from that ruin hold on let's go back here population for the capital for that ruin and so that should allow him to get an early centipede so advantages and disadvantages for both players spawn but we'll see See who is able to make the most of it here actually drop a comment which bomb would you rather prefer we're here on turn seven right where you have jack who has three villages pretty good village density around him so far and he he's pretty much in a good attacking position on his opponent or we have war slice who has only these two villages it may be a village back here but kind of low village density so far these other villages are kind of far even though he is the first one to get to them and he has an early ruin as well so who has the stronger starting position drop that in the comments here on turn seven moving ahead with these boosted units and he sees the centipede and this is huge you always want to attack centipedes before they can attack you sounds like a common sense thing but it pays off dividends if you want more details check out my how to be semantic video moving ahead the oh he's able to he's, he's right outside his capital already but he's able to clear that out upgrade and he has these other villages down here he's probably gonna want to get those connected soon with the mycelium just to help out his movement even though he's semanti does movement really matter i don't think terrain matters much when you're semanti so going ahead upgrading the capital getting another centipede and this is dangerous right now he has two centipedes here but look at this if jack sees this he can he can <laughs> oh my god use it and he does it what a play here as we can see so jack is able to use the shaman's convert ability to turn that centipede into his own unit so it's basically like a mind control for now for the rest of the game this centipede is no longer war slices it is jacks jack shaman is able to kill that unit with the retaliation damage again convert only works as an attack it doesn't work with the retaliation attack back that's why he didn't get converted there but moving ahead here that's huge losing that early centipede the early centipedes were one of his big advantages and there's no way he can know that shaman was right there so that's just an unfortunate move for war slice here now he only has one centipede but he does have more villages right now and he's a little bit more better expanded across the map so he does have a couple advantages here boosting all those units upgrading getting a second centipede would have been his third one but now he only has two and already putting in work with that converted centipede is jack attacks and snipes the shaman that is huge this is a problem and going in attack sieging that but he decides to leave it open and fall back with the hexapod wants to keep his units alive instead of sacrificing it because he knows the hexapod is just gonna get one shot next turn anyway going ahead upgrading taking resources at the other village what do you think about this decision here to send the veteran swordsman this way i think with all that's going on right outside your capital maybe be aggressive with that veteran swordsman and start to apply some pressure versus using it to expand maybe build a centipede or a hexapod that'll be better for one you'll span across the map quicker and then you got this veteran swordsman to at least be annoying at whatever villages your opponent has right here drop in the comments below what do you think about the decision to keep expanding with the veteran swordsman so going ahead clearing out that centipede but of course it spawns another one as the great and powerful units they are and now we see the hexapods oh my god just slicing and dicing removing doing big boy damage on that centipede got it down to two hp and now really he only has one centipede because this one is so 
low health going ahead upgrading getting a super unit of his own the hard way and then he's gonna take border growth here and build another warrior meanwhile his hex pie his centipede and he slides the second centipede didn't learn the first time so he's gonna be able to convert that unless he kills the shaman but i don't think he can here this is not looking too good for war slice here and <laughs> look at these centipedes and his, his cities are on fire brilliant i mean i don't know if that was luck or just the shrewd being a shrewd tactician here by jack being able to convert those centipedes and this is this is not looking too good even though look at all these villages here i mean the longer this game lasts i mean war slice is not out of it because he has so many villages he's about to take another one over here so i i would keep playing in this situation i know it's not looking too good on the front lines but you actually have if you look his opponent is kind of surrounded by him so let's see what he does here going ahead he pops that out attacking and it's, he gives up that village and slides onto the capital brilliant play here sliding that centipede into the capital and there's just re-sieging with the other centipede realizing he doesn't have a lot to defend the capital with if he had just sieged that village he wouldn't have been able to move that centipede and that would have kept war slice in the game for a little bit longer even though the longer this game goes is worse for jack so brilliant move by jack there going ahead upgrading getting the workshop attacking but he has to get this unit out of his capital or the game is over and sure enough he's going to capture that village and then capture the capital and that is gg man it's not very often we see a game actually end with the opponent's capital being captured normally people resign uh, once they realize they were they lost but that was i know that was a quick game really we saw that clutch shaman come through and <laughs> convert both of those centipedes using that convertibility to the highest level what an exciting matchup I'm, i mean it was a fast-paced game Samanti versus Samanti always is and really i mean that shaman got it has to be the mvp of the game here so if you like these shorter matchups let me know we're trying something new on the channel i got a bunch of different ideas and shout out each of you for submitting suggestions in the discord i'm getting through all those so we're gonna try to uh mix up the content on the channel bring a variety of content and i'm also gonna be playing some other games soon so make sure you check that out but comment below really appreciate the feedback let me know if you like the short form videos if you do i'll post some of the shorter games too i've been only doing like the longer games so really curious to see what you guys think about this and yeah without further ado appreciate you for watching and see you in the next video